at Cisco, our vision for smart grid solutions is to deliver an end-to-end, IP-based, secure communications infrastructure. Now let's hear from our substation connectivity partners on how significant they think IP is in the design and deployment of an end-to-end -end infrastructure. Well, I didn't even think that was much of a choice. I just thought it was a foregone conclusion that IP is the only way to do you know, the smart grid. Our solutions rely on ubiquitous connectivity to all the automation and equipment out there so we can gather that data and bring it up into the enterprise and make it available to smart people and smart systems to make smart decisions. And IP is critical for utilities because it allows them to converge their communications, allowing them to put SCADA as well as voice over IP and video surveillance on a single network infrastructure. It also allows them to go with the physical layer that it meets the needs of the location, be that fiber, wireless, or satellite. MyDirect was the first company to natively support IP over a satellite infrastructure. This allowed us to build in DSCP 802.1Q VLAN mapping support as well as MPLS. These are all important things to integrate into a, into a Cisco core network. IP is essential when you deploy an end to end communications infrastructure with a smart grid. IP provides a universal interoperable framework that allows companies like Arcadian Networks, who's partners with Cisco, to deploy solutions using Cisco components that are not only enabling new, new technologies and applications that utilities need for the future, but also allows for backward compatibility to legacy communications such as serial or other communications. And how do you work with Cisco in helping utilities to a smarter grid? Well, Cisco provides a wide breadth of services and technology that allows us with Cisco powered certification that we've gotten in deploying networks to help us from design implementation and then ongoing support of the network. Great, thanks.